Are you tired of spending a lot of money and getting absolutely nothing you wanted? Head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the cheapest, safest, most reliable coins on the net. And are you also looking for training points to power up that player to make him just a little bit better? Training is also available on the website. Link is down below in the description. What up, what is my ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 19 online ranked match, baby. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. We are about to jump into an online head-to-head -head gameplay and looking in the comment section and ask you guys what team I want to use. And I've seen a few people like, yo, GS, going ahead and bring them boys out. Zeke is hungry and he need to eat. I said I got you. I said I got you. So I need to take a look at a few things, man. Let me see what Ezekiel Elliott spin look like. 87 doesn't meet the 88 threshold, but 87 will get the job done for the most part. You know, he just can't spin very quickly around multiple defenders, but he can, you know, make one person miss, which may be all I need depending on the situation. So I take a look at my tight ends, my defensive line, which is very important. I'm like, okay, we got Demarcus Lawrence. I'm looking, I need speed. Crawford, okay, I can put him at D tackle just in case we face someone, you know, a fast QB that I need to spy. Does it, okay, we got Vander Rush. We got to rush Vander Rush on the defensive line. So we are, I think, 6 0 so far in our online endeavors. And of course, I take a look and they try to bamboozle me, yo. They try to sneak in the back door with the regular playbooks that I don't know nothing about. I don't know about you guys, man. Someone's like, yo, I'm tired of you calling the same plays over and over. Well, they work, all right? Basically, he's like, why don't you use the team playbook, something new? Why don't you just say in the comment section, GS, I would like to see you lose and struggle. That's, you know, if that's what you want to see, I mean, I guess I could do that. But telling me you're tired of me calling the same plays because, damn it, that's my offense. And, damn it, it works for me. You're basically saying, Nelson, I need you to go on ahead and struggle. You know, let, let me call the plays that I like. You know, I ain't hurting nobody. I ain't hurting nobody here calling my plays. I'm just, I'm just trying to have fun. So... We go up against the Lions, and this is my first time facing the Lions, and I completely uh, didn't edit in the kickoff. But that's okay, though, because the very first play of the game, don't test the user. It's so disrespectful. Somebody, please, give that gentleman a link to my channel. Let him know, do not throw the ball my way. Right here. Look at it. Look at it. Booty ball, nigga. This deck press got throwing a hot one, and he can't go up there. And the man Shawami is in the end zone for a 7-2-0 lead. And here we go on deep. And this is what I was excited about. I knew he had Zeke. I knew he had Cooper. I knew he had Dak. But damn it, I want to see Van Rush. I want to see Lawrence put in work. Very first play of the game, he decides to run. And Lawrence says, Nelson, I got your back. We don't allow those in these streets. Very next play, second 11. We get a block shade. And yip -yip -yip. Ping, 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 ping. The mark is Lawrence again with a sack. Well, no, his first sack, but again with the tackle. Right here, third one. I slapped that out of his hand like a kid trying to get an extra cookie after lunch. No, you shall not. Not my house. Well, we're in your house. Well, not in your house. Well, I recorded this game in my house. So technically, not in my house. How are you talking about? So we end up forcing a punt on fourth and 30. Here we go. First and 10. And we're near the first down. Well, uh, well, 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 we're near 50 down here. The 50 yard line. And then we got Lil Beasley. Lil Beasley end up catching a slam way in field goal range right now. It's time to hit the big boys. Okay. And next play, it's time to hit the big boys. Okay. 30 13, we got a low in route. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what we're doing. Okay, Dak, you're just going to throw behind a nice and smooth, deep in route, low precision pass. I mean, I mean, even freaking, uh, what's his name, man? E even, um, I'm, I can't think of his name. I'm drawing a blank, man. The QB. For the damn Ravens, man. The, the the rookie QB. I can't think of his name. It's going to come to me about it. But even he. Even he with his no good accuracy, accuracy thrown stuff was able to throw low precision in routes. And you can't do it, Dak? Huh. <laughs> so here we go, man. About to bring it to the second quarter. Now, mind you, these are five-minute quarters, man. He's going to go on ahead and stand deep in the pocket. But we end up getting to him. For some, they can be fast. That's what I like, man. If you can't throw the ball, that's better for me. He's 0 for 3. One interception. I like those attributes. And we come in screaming, but he gets to pass off just as the pressure gets there. And unfortunately, wah, 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 that right there was my area. I'm supposed to cover the deep middle. But my man Crawford says, I got you back. Not once, but I got you back twice. Bang, bang, back to back. 
Sacarinos, and we got him out of field goal range. But right here, you take a look at my user. I got the, the shorter route, and I got to cover the deep route, right? Because the deep route possibly can get a first down. So I'll give him the underneath route because I don't want to go on ahead and give up a first down. So I'll let him have that, you know, field goal range. That's fine. I had to pick one or the other, and I felt like I made the right business decision. So here we go. Back at it again with yet another offensive drive, 10-3. And right now we're feeling good. He's calling just stock cover three for hard flats, and I feel like we can move the ball against him. But I need Zeke to step it the hell up. So right here we're looking, we're looking, we're looking, and I see my man Cooper. And swing! And the spinner, we had him in the bottom, but he had to miss it. He's taking it up. He's trying to shoot it right there, but he's taking it right away to the yellow. We're going to go ahead and hit that true clock and bring it all the way to the two minute warning. I love that there's 40 seconds in play clock, man. As someone who loves the true clock as much as your boy does, I love the fact that there's 40 second play clock. I'm going to nibble all up. I'm going to just drop it. Zeke! He just dropped the wide open pass, man. But I'm going to go ahead and chew that clock all day long, man. Thirds, I mean, second and ten, we end up. It's getting stopped just a smidgen shot of the first down. Then, here's what I do. I go to tight ends. Who can block for me? Who can go on ahead and block for you, boy? Because I need to know who can hold these blocks. I take a look. I see the Schwamster and I see Jarwin. Those are my best tight end run blockers. And that's important. And here's why. The very next play, we call a toast to the right side. Guess who's out there blocking? You're damn right. Schwami and Jarwin. Look at Schwami holding that block. Legend still has it. He's blocking them to this day. I was editing the video, he was still getting blocked. I went to go do my taxes, he was still getting blocked. I went to go visit my kids in college, and he was still getting blocked. The hell are you talking about? That's why you got to know your personnel, man. You got to know who's on your roster, and you got to take that to your advantage. So, 17-3, we feeling good. We feel like if we get a stop, if we feel like if we can cover the damn middle like we're supposed to, we want to be giving them big plays. But we feel like if we can go on ahead and cover, well, I, I just said that. We feel like if we can get a stop here, game should be over. Right? We get ball at half. I know he's not going to stop me because he's calling stock coverage. He's not making any adjustments. But offensively, though, he's, you know, he's doing some things. You see, he's throwing knots. He's throwing dots. Talk nasty. Look like his coach right there. You know, calling timeout. And then right here, he goes on the head and he brings it down. And we're going to go on ahead and call a timeout. 15 seconds remaining. Very important. That was his last timeout. Second and one, I was on aggressive all game and he got me. He got me. He, he checked. He finally checked. First and go. He gets shut down. Only 13 seconds remaining. Very next play. Quick slant. He gets tackled on the one. He's got a no auto. He's got time for one more play. He negates the field goal. And he throws a dot. Surprise, surprise, over the middle where I'm supposed to be. Dang it, this guy is exposing me, and I'm going to need you to relax. Now, if someone matches up against me and they watch the video, like, oh, I know how to go on ahead and have an offense against Rabbit Stroke Marrero. Just, just throw it over the middle because he doesn't cover it, man. So right here, we end up starting with the ball to begin the half, and that right there is definitely a very good way to start the half, especially when you have the lead. And, of course, like I said, he's, he's having trouble stopping your boy, so we end up finding Coop deep down the right sideline. We're already in field goal range. Well, almost in field goal range after this play right here. We're, okay, wait a minute. We got that. And he, me, me, takes a swing, slow spin, and then we go on and slide down, and we end up getting the first down and plethora of space for field goal. Now, that right there is definitely what I love to see. So, we're going to go on ahead and try to milk the clock. We're fine with taking a field goal here. We would love a tutty, but if a field goal happens, so be it. And we end up running the ball again. And, of course, we got Schwami. We got Jar Jarwin out there blocking for us. We go to the toss again. I don't know what the hell happened there. I mean, he, I don't know. He just levitated Chris Angel style five yards backwards. Someone tell me what the hell just happened there. But the very next play, oh, Zeke is eating, baby. Put the bib on, Zeke. Put the bib on, baby. Grab the spoon. Grab the bowl and get ready to eat, baby, because it's time, baby. It's time to eat baby i got you with a full serving full helping of touchdowns so we're up 24 to 10 and then the very next play is his very last play he backs up he chucks it deep and we're in position we click on and then we click on it again and we get another interception and that right there is going to go on ahead and end the game you see the defensive line leones you've seen them well the players you see how they patted each other on the head and in the back like it's all good, man. We faced Morero, man. There's no we could do, man. He's a goon out in these head to head streets, man. Ain't, ain't no we could do, baby boy. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, we are doing pretty well. I'm having so much fun playing online ranked matches. Again, it's such a strategical chess match. Um, we are, and not, and not only, I don't think you guys noticed, but every game we brought back fourth down swag. I don't think you guys have been paying attention. I don't think you guys noticed that I kicked. A field goal or punt it on every single fourth down. And you're going to see that. I'm just showing you guys my attributes. Well, not my attributes, but my statistics and all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys next screen. When we go all the way down, my punt on fourth down percentage, oh, it's 100. I punt on every fourth down I am not in field goal range on. 
We bring it back to fourth down swagger tree. The reason why I don't do it on ultimate team is because four minutes time goes quick. But five minutes, five minutes. You see, look at that fourth down pump percentage. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. You know, there's more time in the game. So that allows me to go on ahead and, you know, be able to make a comeback punting the ball. So we're bringing down the fourth down swag. These are the teams we face and all that good stuff, man. And, uh... Yeah, so far, so good. Let me know what team you guys want next in the comment section. It's your boy, GS. We're going to go ahead and be signing up. Appreciate the support, as always. Until next time, peace. Give it to me, baby. Go to MrMotherCoin.com. Use code GS for 20% off.